Hello everyone, and now we will be looking at the next concept, that is plane mirrors. Now, we've looked at the different kinds of mirrors in the last video, right? We've looked at the concave mirrors, convex mirrors, spherical mirrors, which are convex and concave, and we've also looked at what a plane mirror looks like, right? So we've seen that a mirror is a small, uh, is a smooth polished surface which has one reflecting side, the other side is covered with a lining of silver and it is, you know, black coated so it does not reflect light. But the uh, other side is a reflecting surface, right? So we will now be looking at the first kind of mirror that is a plane mirror. And this is a basic structure of a plane mirror, right? This is a, a diagonal plane mirror. A plane mirror can be straight like this as well. Can be it can be straight like this. Or a plane mirror can be completely horizontal like this. Right? So these are the different arrangements in which we can see a plane mirror. The basic idea behind a plane mirror is that it is completely straight. It has no curves, no curved ends, no tapering ends. It just has a simple straight mirror, right? Now we will be looking at how images are formed by a plane mirror, right? And we will be looking at the features of the images of a plane mirror. But first of all, let us look at image formation by a plane mirror. Image formation, right? So how does a plane mirror reflect light and form images of an object, right? So suppose I have kept an object here. Suppose uh, this is my object, right? And this is my plane mirror. Right. Now it's kept at some distance from the mirror, and a bell of light rays start coming on to this mirror. Right, they can be from here, then they can be from there. Right, and they can come from here as well. Or not, they have to be straight, so about here. Right, so there are various forms in which the mirror has some light rays striking it. Right, ultimately all of these reflect. Right, as for the laws of reflection, they have to reflect, so most of them just reflect back. So, so does this one. So all of these light rays, they just reflect back. But if we just you know, imagine, imagine that we extend these reflected light, light, light rays, right? So we're just extending these light rays. Actually, this will be reflecting here, okay? So we just extend these light rays, okay? We extend them here and there and wherever, okay? So there will be a point where they merge, right? There's going to be a merging point of these rays. There's going to be a point where these reflected rays, which are extended behind the mirror, are going to meet at some point, right? So when they meet at that point, that point is where the image will be formed. Right? So that was the image and this is the object. So you can see the light rays are going to strike the mirror, they're going to reflect. But if we just imagine that we are going to extend the light rays, Behind the mirror, we will see that there will be a point where these are going to meet together. And they're, they're going to meet together at one point. There's going to be a big point, And at this point, the image will be formed. So something like this will form, like something similar to that. Right? And this is how image is formed in a plane mirror. So basically, you have a plane mirror. And in that plane mirror, in front of that, I'm going to keep some object. So, light rays just come, they reflect, they come, they reflect, they come, they reflect, they come, they reflect. So at different points, light rays will reflect. At the end of the day, when you extend them to the other side, okay, this is wrong. When you extend them to the other side like this, okay, and even here and here, so at a point they're going to meet, and this is where your image is going to be formed, right? So 
This is how image formation takes place in case of a plane mirror. There's going to be an object, it's going to uh, have some light rays which are going to strike the mirror, they're going to reflect from the mirror, and if you tend, and if you now imagine to extend these behind the mirror, because this is behind the mirror, right, this part is behind the mirror, since it is not at the reflecting surface, it is behind the reflecting surface. So behind the mirror, they're going to meet, they're going to appear to meet, right? So if you extend the light rays, they're not actually meeting. The reflected rays, which are striking the mirror and they reflect, they appear to meet. They're not actually meeting, they just appear to meet. It seems that they're meeting. And due to their meeting, there is an image which is forming behind the mirror, right? This is how images are formed, right? And since they appear to meet, they're not actually meeting. The image formed is a virtual image. Okay, so the image formed here is a virtual image. It is not a real image. It is an image which is virtual, unreal. They appear to meet. The light rays are appearing to meet. They're not actually meeting. So because of that appearing word, it's a virtual image, right? The image is erect, right? It is an erect image. It's because if the object is arranged like this, and this is my mirror, Right? Then the image is also arranged like this. Right? That's what's the scene. They are arranged in the same manner. So if the image is like, if the object is upright, the image is also upright. If the object is downright, the image is also downright. Right? It's exactly just an erect image, just like the object. Right? It is the image, the image is same size as that of the object. So, the image size and the object size is same. So, if the image is some, sorry, not image. If the object is some two centimeters high, if the object is some two centimeters high, then the image is also two centimeters high. So, there is no difference. Height of image by height of object is equal to one. The ratio between their sizes is one, right? So the size of image by size of object is equal to one. Right? So that is what we call. And this, re and this ratio between size of image and size of object is referred to as magnification. Right? And it is found that in a plane mirror, magnification is equal to 1. Right? So that's with this same size thing. Right? Another feature of the image of a plane mirror is that image is laterally inverted. So this is a very common thing that left appears right. Left appears right and right appears left. And right appears left. So this is very common. We see this in our everyday life. If you go to a plane mirror today, just now, now go to the mirror. After this video, go to a mirror and look yourself into the mirror. If you raise your left hand, the right hand will be raised. And if you raise your right hand, your left hand will appear to raise in your image, right? So that is what we call lateral inversion. Image is laterally inverted, right? So these are some of the very main features of a plane mirror. There is a virtual image, there is an erect image, their image is the same size as that of the object, and the image is laterally inverted. Right? I hope that's absolutely clear. And the last feature which we're going to look at is that distance of object from mirror
is equal to distance of image from mirror. Right, so I hope that's a, a self-explanatory, but anyway, I'm going to explain it. But if you have a mirror in between, so suppose this is my plane mirror. Right, and suppose I keep an object at a distance of two centimeters from the mirror. Then the image will be formed somewhere here. Right, so this is the object and this is my image. So the image will be formed somewhere here and the distance of the image from the mirror will also be two centimeters. Right, so the distance of the object from the mirror is equal to the distance of the image from the mirror. Right, I hope that's absolutely clear to all of you. So we have discussed the formation of an image by a plane mirror and also the features of an image formed by a plane mirror. Right, so with this, we conclude this video on plane mirrors and their features. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you learned something. I hope you're clear with all the concepts on plane mirrors. Uh, you please look forward to my videos on the spherical mirrors, which will be next after this. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Stay healthy. Stay smart. And you keep studying. Bye-bye.